We are painting a melee mural today in Heia at the back of Boston Pizza, which faces Windward Mall by where uh, Sports Authority used to be. On this project, we're collaborating with students from Ho'olu Opio from Castle High School. Ho'olu Opio Academy, our focus is on natural resources, where our students are going out into the community. We're working on a farm that we have on campus. We're trying to expose them to the culture component a lot of hands-on teaching, hands-on learning, um, project base. We want to expose them to what is out in their own ahupua. Several of the mele murals have been on school campuses, but our intention and our hope is that we paint off campus so that students can see how the public interacts with the art. They can get positive reinforcement from people walking by. So this is a really good opportunity for them to experience those things. We've gotten great support from the property owners, King Street Properties, so they've made it really easy for us. When uh, he first told us about it, you know, I, I could not really relate to it. And then uh, I was here uh, one day and he showed, uh, you know, like five, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, uh, all taped to each other, and he was basically telling the story. Very deep meaning. There's a story that long ago a tsunami came and hit all the way up to the mountains and wiped out everything. So a lot of the old stories, a lot of our old structures and things are gone. And the lesson here is that after hardship, after crisis, you rebuild your foundation. So I think this mural especially is very much connected to this place. And not only does it share some of the history, but I think it also is really meant to be a message more for the students than for anybody else. It seems that a lot of the students from the Ho'olu Opio Academy have struggled and gone through difficult things even at their young ages. So uh, I think that this message for them can strike a personal chord. They can reflect on it in their own time. I guess what they're trying to interpret like from the story to others is that after a bad time or like after a storm, there's always new life. My experience with this has been, I felt so soothing and calming with this mural. Some days it's been really rainy, but we've worked through it. And some days like today, it's been really hot, so just all over the place, but it's just super fun, I think. Uh, there were hardships, it rained, you know, uh, some of the paint was washed off the wall. Uh, I think that was pretty devastating, but they picked up and they continued and you know, you see the, you see the end product. So the mele is Kalamaku and the mural is Julio. So Julio is here in the beginning of the mural. So if you look at the mural, it starts from this side and moves on that way. Julio means to turn and look to the past so that we can move on into our future. And as we get to this side of the wall, by the eva, you see Kalamaku. And Kalamaku is the torch. And you see in the eva, the colors are in the eva, the red, the yellow, the orange, and below the tail of the eva, you see blue. When you look at a flame, the hottest part of the flame is blue. And then as it moves up, it gets to the reddish orange, and then it moves up and becomes yellow. That eva represents that torch, that light, that kalamaku, that is all of you. You are the lamaku. You are the torch for the, the next generation to carry all of this forward. So we felt that this mele was very fitting for this wall in this time of change and transformation, taking you to become the torches of this current generation. Yeah. And when you look at our foundation, which is the, the triangles at the bottom of the wall, each one of you are represented in, in our foundation. 
this in the mountains is Kameha Ikana and she her name means the multitude of generation and this is why the babies in the Kalo is they are growing and they're gonna be taking care of the land now like how we are now. Something I've learned is how important teamwork is. Each one of us had a certain role and task in completing the mural. We had to follow leads from our kumus and also each other. Sometimes there were major obstacles and setbacks, so we had to be resilient and didn't give up. So thank you, Uncle Joe, Estria, Auntie Mahea, Auntie Tiare, and Uncle Wayne, and you, Chris, for giving us all this opportunity to be a part of the community and make this mural for everybody and all the generations to see. Thank you. It's more than just a painting on the wall. It's, uh, it's the community backed it up and I think it's, uh, it's a good story. We want them to be able to pass this on to their children, to their grandchildren, saying that, you know, what this story or what this wall represents. And we hope that this wall, wall will be here, you know, in the next 20, 30 years so that they have the opportunity to share it. And it's something that they can be proud of in saying that, I was a part of this. I was able to participate in this. To me, this mural's story is telling me that there's always gonna be some storm to come and ruin everything that you just made. But all you gotta do is push back and fight harder. Thank you.